Welcome to a new vlog. It's Tuesday and I wanted to say thank you guys for your comments on my last vlog. Like I really didn't expect it to go so well with just you guys being like, I like what you showed in this vlog. So it inspired me and I want to just mix in those things more to my vlogs and make more vlogs like that, showing things that I don't normally show as much. So thank you for your comments on that. I really do appreciate it. I'm driving to a Pilates class. I woke up like literally 20 minutes ago. So we're still getting there mentally. I just made my turn like a grandma because I still don't have a thing in my car to hold my camera steady. But yes, I'm going to take my Pilates class to start the day. And today will be fun actually. I meant to start the vlog yesterday and then I don't know, I kind of just did. I never really got like ready yesterday and I just wasn't, I was just kind of feeling like a blob. So I'm starting it today, um, but who cares? Today we're gonna go to the fair, the Western Idaho Fair is in town. And I went last year and it was so fun. Um, it was really crowded when we went last year and we went on a Saturday. So we're going on a Tuesday this year and I'm hoping to go like as early as possible. Like last year we literally waited for like two hours for one single ride and it was the swings. So it wasn't even like, I feel like the swings are fun, but it's not even that like crazy of a fair ride. And the line literally took two hours just for one ride last year. So we, I had a great time, but we mostly just like, ate food and waited in line and then after that we did have a little bit of time before the fair closed to like do a couple more games but i'm really excited to go back so welcome back to the vlog um i'll talk to you guys after class okay i'm home from class it was so hard today i feel like i don't even know why it was so hard i was so sore and it just hurt really bad like it was not an easy one today. I'm gonna make a little PB and J. So my bread is toasting and it's gonna be delicious and very comforting. Also, I haven't really talked about this on YouTube, but I'm finally, after like literally two and a half years of avoiding <laughs> making a TikTok. Well, I made mine a few months ago. Like this is an announcement that I made one. My username is Lindsay Hughes 44 and I started, you know, making reels and stuff, whatever. But now I'm actually posting more on TikTok and I'm trying to post like every day or every other day, sometimes posting multiple in a day. So I already posted one today. I posted one, a cute one yesterday of me and Jared's trip, if you guys wanna see that. I also filmed a secret vlog for my Patreon of our trip. It turned out so cute and that will be up by the time this video is up. If any of you guys wanna see that, I'll link my Patreon down below. If you guys are on TikTok, here is my username, lindsayhughes44. It would mean a lot if you followed me if you're on TikTok. I, you know, obviously didn't make content or build up a following for the past like two and a half years that TikTok has been like more of a thing. So I'm really behind and I literally don't even, I have like a thousand followers literally, which is like still a good amount, but it's like, I just feel like I haven't really talked about it very much besides a little bit on Instagram that I'm like posting content over there now. So I just wanted you guys to know, I'll have it linked in like my video descriptions like permanently now. And it's one of those things I'm trying to just have fun with it now and make ones that I enjoy and are entertaining and like silly or just relatable for me and i'm not gonna make any tiktoks that i think are annoying because i think that's what held me back for so long i, I mean i think a lot of the original tiktok was like it was just really cringy in my opinion and that's why i was like ooh, i just feel like way too old to get into this because i know there's people that don't watch youtube that are out there on tiktok i do want those people to be able to like watch something from me if they want to or like reach those people i suppose because i know a lot of people really aren't on youtube so that's my spiel of the day let's make the rest of this um sandwich now i kind of wish i hadn't toasted my bread because like now it's it's kind of hard i think it was a little stale actually <laughs> But it's fine. It is what it is. Alexa, add strawberry. Actually, Alexa, add raspberry jelly to my shopping list. I've put raspberry jelly on your shopping list. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little weird, but it'll be tasty. I'm watching vlogs on my phone while I was getting ready. I'm watching Christy right now and I showered, faked hand and blow dried my hair so it's a little poofy right now because I just usually like do like five minutes to dry it and then I let it, it's not all the way dry. I probably get it like 75, 80% 
and it's still a little poofy and I'm gonna let it air dry. I'm gonna walk Squirtle and then I'm gonna actually style it and maybe do a little makeup. I'll probably do like 10 minutes of makeup. You can hear Squirtle drinking, but it's already like 322 and I really wanted to be at the fair before this because I think it's gonna be really crowded tonight. So, but Jared's not home from work either. So I'm waiting for that, but I might not even do makeup. We'll see. I might just like put on a pair of sunglasses and just not wear any. So we'll see. We're going into the fair. I didn't have time to show you guys my outfit before we left, but I did film a little clip for the talk. I told you guys I've been trying to be better, so maybe I'll insert that into this vlog, but we just parked. It's very hot. I should have definitely worn more sunscreen than just on my face, but we're here. We're in. It was pretty swift to get in. There's not that many people here yet. This is the time to come, you guys. Weekday, if the fair is in town, you gotta come during the weekday instead of the weekend. Riding the Ferris wheel. Oh no, we're riding the roller coaster. Sorry, we rode a Ferris wheel the other week. It's in my head. Oh no! Oh, 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 All right, guys, we're on the gondola. Woo! It was six dollars for an unlimited ride the whole day. That's the baby roller coaster. We did the uh, the mega over there. There's literally no one else on this thing. It's just us. How did you feel about your pronto? Pump? It was so good. He had a mustard, I had no mustard, and I dipped in ketchup. We're gonna get another one. We're definitely getting another one. I have a little pronto puff on my chin, I think. Last year we didn't really get to ride anything. I think I was telling you guys, we waited two hours for the swings. Because we, that thing's a little loud. Because we came on a Saturday. So, so far, I mean, it's still crowded, but it's not nearly as crowded as it was last year. So, we already got to ride one, two rides. Two? This one? This counts, right? Oh. Yeah. Two rides. And the prickly pear lemonade that I put Tito's in. <laughs> She's like, this cake is not mine. I'm putting vodka in it. I think this is the petting zoo. We never went over there last year, so maybe we should try that. Oh, yeah, definitely. We should go there this year. Boat. And there's a little, like, a horsey go round over there. Can you guys see that? I have a confession. The little merry go round horse is the only time I've actually ridden a horse. <laughs> that doesn't count. I mean, I guess it counts. Oh, it's so hot, my boob is like sliding out of my top. It's like my wet breast. Woo! We're riding the Ferris wheel! Woo! Riding the gondola again to end the night. It's a gorgeous sunset this evening from this height. Here's all the ants at the fair. And here's us <laughs> using our six dollar wristband again. <laughs> Look at all the rides. That's not bad. Look at all the rides, guys. I feel like I'm in the Jimmy Neutron movie when all the parents leave. Do you know that movie? Yeah. Yes. I haven't seen a movie in a long time. Honestly, a classic. All the parents disappear or something. Yeah. Get abducted by aliens. I have a headache and I think I ate too much food and I didn't drink enough water. But we went to like 30 minutes of the Ashanti and Ja Rule concert. I had fun. I think it was like a fun 30 minutes. I only really wanted to go for like 30 or 45 because honestly, like, I don't know that many of their songs, but I wanted to go and feel the vibes see what it was like so we just got back from that it's still going on but now we're riding the gondola again back to the other side because we need to give our our feet a break uh, feet how's your night been it's been good my feet hurt yeah i smell my some stuff. good food though i kind of want another mm, should i get noodles or pronto pub before we leave don't bring a noodle in the car let's <laughs> I'm like so full, but I want more. I already had a pronto pup, which is a corn dog. I had the lemonade, a waffle cone with chocolate and vanilla soft serve, but I only finished half of it because that was right after we finished the pronto pup and we probably shouldn't have gotten it. And then I had the whole thing of large popcorn. And I'm looking to get another pronto pup before leaving. Cute. The vibes are going off tonight. Would you write this? Comment. 
down below. You go completely upside down. Sunset's nice though. This is Idaho. My hair looks a little crazy today. Uh, it's so hot today that I was like, I have to wear it up. I have to wear it like all the way up and I never wear it all the way up since I got my extensions because I won't get too close, but it shows like everything basically. Like it just shows like all the tracks of the extensions and just all of it. So when I do wear my hair up, I like have it parted in the middle and I just wear it like a low or like a mid ponytail for like working out and stuff. Anyway, that was a, uh, a side note. I have had the most boring but like needed to do it morning slash early afternoon. It took me so long too. I literally probably started at 11 something like tidying, vacuuming, dishes, and cleaning the bottom level. I'm so slow at like cleaning and doing, doing stuff like that. I did some random stuff too and like some laundry but it literally took me like until two o'clock so that's what i was doing for the better half of the morning and early afternoon and now i'm gonna have some iced tea that i made uh this is like an energy boosting tea so we'll see i think i'm gonna add a little bit of it is, my homemade simple syrup to it are you guys able to see this i'm gonna do the cool thing i'll try to do it in there so you guys can see it there we go Woo! love it and I had it in the freezer after it's steeped. Is that even steeped? Why does that sound wrong? But I feel like it is actually right <laughs> after it was steeping. Love this little thing. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm like really behind on what I already want to do today. But I guess I kind of needed to, um, that should be good. I kind of needed to tidy. I woke up and it just looked like shit in here. So I'm glad that I, I at least did that. And I just walked Squirtle at the park. I was listening to the new Pretty Basic podcast episode. I've been keeping up with it more the past few weeks. I've always like been subscribed, but sometimes like miss a few episodes, you know what I mean? But I've been keeping up, girl. I'm updated. It's kind of weird, but I don't hate it. I feel like it's better with the simple syrup. I already had a shaken espresso earlier. I made one at like 11.30 or something. I was gonna make another one and I was like, I feel like I want something that doesn't have like the coffee because it just you know affects the tummy and stuff a little too much sometimes when i have like more than one so i just made this little tea i think i'm going to take this upstairs and finish editing my patreon secret vlog that i started on monday didn't have time to do it yesterday because yesterday literally was just like sounds stupid but pilates showering getting ready and then we went to the fair and we were there the whole night and yesterday was kind of like a random like fun day in in the week but i'm glad that we went yesterday because it was so much less crowded and i filmed clips on my phone it was fun i didn't win anything <laughs> we tried for so long this game this one game had all squishmallows as prizes and you only had to hit one of these little like ping pong balls into these floating flowers i don't think i filmed it but i took a picture so i'll put that in me and jared and literally our entire group that we were with it was like his brother his brother's wife and then jared's friend and his girlfriend we all tried it and we all no, none of us got a single one and like i said it only took one to get a squishmallow so it made me feel like oh my god i feel like i really could do it like so jared and i spent literally like 50 dollars like trying to get one because they were so cute and that's like a good prize like the other fair prizes are stuffed animals but they're they're not squishmallows and i was like i kind of only want to play a game this year if i can get win a squishmallow so i was really sad that we didn't get it but we tried for like we literally tried like four separate games I still had fun the food was so good and we got to ride like several rides we rode the ferris wheel the roller coaster twice we rode the fun slide and something else 
the gondola we rode that twice which i guess isn't technically like a ride but it was actually really pretty and relaxing and fun that was a little update on yesterday at the fair um but yeah i feel like i need to get back into productive things <laughs> especially since i feel behind now doing my long multiple hours of tidying this level of my house which does look very nice by the way yeah it looks good i'm gonna go finish that video for sure and maybe work on some other stuff look at some emails i probably have a few other things i could do work wise okay i finished my editing and i fixed my hair a little bit i feel like it looks better i just like pinned bobby pinned the back pieces that were hanging out and i'm heating up a little frozen noodle for lunch this is like my easy you don't have to try lunch that i make a lot this is her garlic chicken it has some carrots broccoli corn chicken and pasta and then i just like season it a bunch and add garlic and some parmesan cheese usually Tonight for dinner, we're having some buffalo chicken sweet potatoes. Haven't made these in forever, but I used to make them all the time and they're one of my favorites. So here is the shredded chicken, just finishing up a little simmer. It's done now. Here's our potatoes, which already baked while I was at Orange Theory. And they are gonna come out now. They're just getting a little toasty in the oven. One potato, two potato. Three potato, four. Wow. She's gorgeous. Uh, okay, I'm gonna season just this part. I feel like I would normally add butter, but I don't really have any butter. And the recipe doesn't say two, so. You add ranch though, so it's fine. All right, y'all. The buffalo chicken is going on. Can I get some applause from the crowd? <laughs> Okay. What is this, one of your sports events? Now I'm going to do a drizzle of ranch. Oh, okay. That, it's exploding! What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's broken, it's broken. Guys, something's wrong with it, I'm just saying. Oh my God. Oh, okay, that one's extra ranchy. Just a drizzle. The best part, we've got to add some color. I have done parsley, that's what the recipe calls for. We're gonna do green onions. You could get crazy and do like lettuce or celery, just something to add like a green to this. But y'all know, y'all know we're a, we're a scallion family over here. This is potentially a crazy idea since it's already spicy from the buffalo, but we have these candied jalapenos. Mm! Got it. I'm gonna just do like, what, two on each? Three? Three. They're kind of gigantic though. Last time I'm just gonna add a little more seasoning to the top because why not? I mean, these look amazing. Here they are. I feel like the pickled jalapenos were a little, the candied jalapenos were a little insane, but they look amazing. I'll leave the recipe that I use in the description box down below. It's an instant pot recipe, um, but you don't need that to make it. Jared's never tried one before, so we'll have to, uh... Do you think it's weird? I'm intrigued. Like, in a good way, or are you kind like of scared? buffalo with sweet potatoes doesn't sound very good, but... Yeah. It, I think you'll like it. I I'm hope. sure I'll love it. Reaction loading. So, could we have your honest review of the baked potato? Yeah. It was actually pretty good. I than it, I, yeah, I thought it was gonna be weird, but the sweet potato and the buffalo were delicious. I feel like it's a weird, it balances each other out. Like the heat balances out with the sweet. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Yeah. So what do you I give it no. out uh, of 10? A seven out of 10. It's pretty good. We'll have to make it again. Okay. Squirtle had a little bit of my leftover skin and sweet potato remains. And now he's having a trout for dessert you know your trout yeah 
Yeah, you know your trout. Currently removing the tail from his favorite trout. Breakfast. Made some breakfast potatoes and some bacon. And he's working on some eggs. Alright, guys, it's Thursday and Jared doesn't have to work today randomly so we are going to go to the park and take Squirtle and do frisbee golfing which I've never like actually done the whole course one time I tried to go like last year Jared goes all the time with his friends um, and I did like a couple you know silly joke throws but I've been saying that I want to go and try to like kind of learn a little bit you know casual like not too serious but just do the course so we're gonna do that we're gonna bring squirtle and we're gonna take him to the dog park because that's at the same place and i want to show you guys a cute little casual outfit of the day for today because i love it i haven't really i don't know if i've shown this cute little green set that i got from girlfriend of course it's the float line so it's like a little softer and i have one of their skirts. they all have pockets which is really nice but this one's kind of like more floaty it's like more of a tennis skirt almost like ruffly and then i have the matching top which i actually pulled up i have two of these like lime tops this one is my current favorite it's like this strappy v-neck with a built-in bra and it actually hits lower but i pulled it up like two or three inches so it would hit like right here because it looks kind of weird i'm on my third day hair so for that reason i did not put in dry shampoo and i just decided to put on a hat and then after i work out later i'm gonna take a shower and wash my hair and then i'm gonna wear my white made well sneakers that i always wear and i just have on these also from girlfriend these little ankle socks so I'm excited to go to the park and have a little random day since he didn't have to work today, so let's go. We're here at the park. I got my disc. I just did the first course and I was pretty bad, but you gotta start somewhere, right? You can only go up from here. How many uh, holes is there? 18. 18? God, this is gonna be a workout. <laughs> Pretty chill day at the park though. There's like a lot of cars, but I literally don't see anyone. Well, I see two people that are doing this golf course, I assume, but it's a gorgeous day. A lot of cloud in the sky, 90 degrees. All right, hole five or six, something okay. like that. Okay. Woo! Oh, oh. kind of went pretty straight. The trees. Yeah. Woo! I didn't make it that far, but I didn't get caught in the tree. That's true. That's good. You're having the best time of your life, Squirtle. I love frisbee golf. He's really having a great time. Come on, freak. Leave your scent. Like one more. One more dive. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, just one more. All right. We'll see you in a few hours. Airing out. Me and Squirtle. But look at this gorgeous park view. Trees and just a little bit of downtown. You can only see like the tall. Is it sad that these are our tallest buildings? These are literally the tallest buildings in all of downtown. Not very tall. We came to a little happy hour at the local. This is a really cute small little restaurant in Boise. And we just ordered. I got a little $5 happy hour rose. I'm very excited to eat. Oh my god, this looks amazing. We got some little mini sliders. We got the happy hour hummus, which the little scoop of hummus is very <laughs> very tiny. I think we might run out of hummus. And then these nachos, which look delicious. Mm. Guys, we are on a little joyride. So this is my old house right here on the end. And sometimes we just like to come and check out how the construction project of two years is doing. So we're gonna give you guys a little, and ourselves, a little update, because I haven't looked in several months. This is my old neighborhood though, you guys. 
she is cute, but uh, anyone remember this? <laughs> so my house is the one all the way on the end, or my old house is not really my house anymore. I never like bought it. This one right here was where I lived. This is like the garage back entrance. You guys, so they are building this like, it's pretty tall. It's like a six story. It looks like apartment building. And this, these parts, the bottom looks like a parking garage, right? Like a two level parking garage. Yeah, yeah. And the thing was, like, drive around to the side, like, cut off, like, the whole view. Like, the whole good part about having, I mean, it's, like, it is what it is. You rent a place. You can't really, you know, choose if they decide to build something or not. But, like, all the windows, you can't really see that good. But all the windows on the side of the house, like, lead to this now. That Look at off. that! So, I wanted to give you guys a little update because... I mean, it'll be cool, I guess, to have all these apartments and everything. I'm sure it'll look nice when it's done, but the noise. I'm so glad I moved out when I did. Oh, it really worked out well. Really did. I feel bad for whoever moved in after me, but at the same time, they had already started the construction, so, like, they probably knew what they were getting into, right? You know? But damn, that's a little update. It's taking them quite a while, and it's not supposed to be done until next year sometime, so... I'll have to check it out when it's like fully done, but we're heading back from our, I don't know if I should call it lunch or dinner because we ate at like 4, 4.30, but they had a happy hour from 4 to 6 and we got some good deals, like everything we got was basically $5 except the sliders. We're heading back home now, it's been a good day, I was going to work out and then I canceled it, but I don't feel too bad because it was just a class at the YMCA, so it's, it's more casual, like I didn't last minute cancel, I canceled it like two hours before and they don't charge you or anything and I, I was gonna go but then I felt like I got kind of a good workout on the frisbee golf course because damn I was exhausted after that we walked around a ton more than I was expecting to I threw the disc and you know I'm just I'm like it's fine because I have been cleaning and doing random stuff. I repotted a plant, which I'll probably put in like 30 seconds or 20 seconds of footage. And I cleaned the bathroom. I unpacked my, finished unpacking my suitcase from our trip like 10 days ago. And um, just did some random stuff, vacuuming and all that. And now I'm gonna end off the night putting away the laundry. There's really not too much. This basket is like barely filled and this one is just like one load. So it shouldn't take me too long and I don't wanna get backed up on doing it. So I'm gonna do that. And we just kind of had a chill evening after we got home, but I've been trying to, but I've been trying to do some cleaning and productive stuff that just I've been putting off, like wiping the sinks in the bathrooms and cleaning the toilets and vacuuming the floors and all that stuff. I've been watching Desperate Housewives. I started it uh, randomly. I got some recommendations from you guys actually when I asked for like a long multi-season show to watch and I'm only on season one. I'm probably on episode like nine or ten I think but I'm loving it. I really like it. It's definitely like a little bit older and like a little bit I guess like a little bit aged because it's from like almost 20 years ago at least like i'm watching the first season which was in 2004 but it's giving me like sex in the city in the suburbs vibes and i really like that because that's one of my favorite shows that i rewatch all the time so thank you guys for your recommendation it was a really good day and i'm just gonna relax the rest of the day and i'll pick up the vlog tomorrow on friday can't wait i'll see you guys then hi guys it is friday afternoon i just took a pilates class it was very hard i'm also really tired i haven't had any coffee today but i'm at the village which is our little like outdoor shopping center 
It's by Meridian. Um, I'm gonna get a smoothie and then one of my followers, Chloe, she lives here in Boise and she emailed me and she was like, I work at the Athleta store at the Village and me and some of the girls that like work at the store would love to like have you come in and get a little outfit and we can like give you a little styling session. So I figured why not? I would love to like meet her and meet them and check out the store. I don't think I've ever been to the Athleta store here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have a little smoothie and head back home and do some work. But that's how we're starting off this Friday. or Meridian or like, you know, this kind of area, the Treasure Valley, as they call it. You should definitely check out the Athleta store at Meridian. It was so cute. The girls were so sweet to me and we tried on a bunch of stuff. I will give you guys a little haul of what I got. I think I'm gonna do it when I get home though because I feel like one of the things I got was like a long pant and I feel like I could show you a lot better at home. And just shout out to Chloe and Stephanie and all the girls at the store that helped me out. It was nice to be able to actually try everything on too because normally like i'm one of those people that, like doesn't really try things on i only will if it's like jeans or like denim or something but usually i just like risk it and like order online and if it doesn't fit i'll send it back you know what i mean so it's nice to be able to actually get that like exact fit because i realized i was actually like a different size than i probably would have normally gotten gotten god i got my smoothie too but it kind of melted a good amount because i got this like over an hour ago. <laughs> got like a hemp recovery smoothie. Um, that was very over, that was very overpriced. Why are smoothies like $10 nowadays? <laughs> like what? But it's been a good afternoon. It's about 3.30 already. So I'm gonna head home and do some editing actually on this vlog. All right guys, it is a little bit later now and I wanted to show you what I got today in my cute little reusable silver bag. First thing I got was this super soft, so soft sports bra that has a little, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, it has a little cross in the back. It's black because it'll match with literally everything and it hits like pretty, almost like a crop top, it hits like pretty low and it is so freaking comfy. It has this like band at the bottom and it doesn't have any like underwiring or anything. It's just very cozy and this is in a size medium. And then I got, <laughs> and choosing the color was very hard, these amazing, flared high-waisted pants these look so cute on i think i took a picture of them on or a video or something or in the black ones so i'll put that in right now i almost did get the black ones but i actually already have like two pairs of flared black pants that you guys have probably seen i wore them a bunch in like the winter and stuff so i thought i should switch it up and this color was super cool it's a, like a mauvey rose i guess i thought it was really pretty for fall they have a built-in little pocket in the back right here and they're so cozy now these i would normally have probably gone a medium i tried on the small and the mediums and the small actually ended up fitting better because it's kind of like a legging you want them to be like snug and hug you and they do not feel too tight whatsoever because they have like i don't know they just have like stretch and give so these are so cute i cannot wait to wear these starting like eh, as soon as it's not 100 degrees you'll catch me in these and then lastly i got this tank top it just looks like a basic black tank top but the way it hits you is so flattering it's almost like a bodysuit it's a great basic i feel like i'll be layering with it all fall that's my little haul from athleta i'm gonna sit down now i'll go ahead and link those pieces in the description box down below in case any of you guys want to check them out and i'm gonna end off this vlog now because i really want to get it up for you guys so i hope you enjoyed this if you guys want to check out my patreon i've been posting so much there recently like 
free new videos. I have a substance Q&A part one and two. And then I also have a secret vlog that I posted of my trip with Jared that I just posted the other day. It's like a 20 minute secret vlog that's just for Patreon. So I'll have that link on the screen as well as the top of the description box if you guys want to go and check out my secret content over on there. I hope you guys like this vlog. I had a lot of fun filming this one and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you so much.